Well, howdy everyone. Today, a brand new optic has found its way into my lens testing situation room, aka my man cave, the Samyang 85mm f1.8 UMC CS. It's another in a long line of manual focus Samyang lenses designed for APS-C censored mirrorless cameras, not digital SLR cameras. So it should be available in Sony E, Fuji X, Canon EOS M mirrorless and micro four thirds mount. On an APS-C camera, 85mm is the full frame equivalent of about 127mm, so that's a perfect long focal length for portraits which will really emphasise your subject and give you some fairly compressed, out of focus backgrounds, especially when shooting at f1.8. This is an unusual lens in that I can't think of any other 85mm lens on the market that is designed only for APS-C mirrorless cameras, and along with a manual focus design, this lens is somewhat of a niche product, I think. But then again, if its image quality is good enough then it might be filling a wider gap in the market than you would think. So far, owners of APS-C cameras who want to use an 85mm lens on their camera have had to attach full frame 85mm lenses, which are a little big and expensive and despite the famous sweet spot advantage of APS-C on a 24 megapixel crop sensor camera, they don't really offer perfect image quality at their widest apertures. I've found that on virtually all the 85mm lenses I've tested, even on one of the sharpest I've tested, the excellent Sony 85mm f1.8 FE, it has a little trouble fully resolving on an APS-C camera. At f1.8 it's sharp in the middle but a bit soft in the corners. Other 85mm lenses for full frame cameras are often worse than this one on APS-C. So, perhaps this new option from Samyang, specifically designed for APS-C, can offer something new. We'll look at its image quality in just a minute. Firstly, build quality. It's typical for a lens from Samyang's APS-C manual focus line, and that's quite a good thing. Its body is made of plastic, but it feels quite solid, being based on a metal lens mount and weighing just over 300 grams. It has a 62mm filter thread, the aperture is controlled at the bottom with a control ring that clicks quite positively at every half stop. The iris mechanism has 9 blades for softer out of focus highlights when you stop the aperture down. The manual focus ring turns very smoothly and slightly heavily being very well damped. It could have a bit more travel on it though I think for a bit more precision. I didn't find it hard to manually focus this lens at all, especially when using magnification on my camera, but then again, I use manual focus lenses all the time. If you're a bit less experienced, it might take a bit of practice. It comes with a nice deep lens hood, overall its design is simple and nicely put together. Alright, image quality. I'm testing on a 24 megapixel APS-C camera, my little Sony A5100. At f1.8, the lens is razor sharp in the middle of the image with very good contrast, and the corners also almost perfect. Some very slight colour fringing is visible here. Stop down to f2.8 for more brightness. The lens stays this sharp all the way down to f11. Beyond that, you'll begin to see softness from the effects of diffraction. So, 10 out of 10 for image quality here. In my opinion, if you want to use an 85mm lens on your APS-C mirrorless camera, this is a sharper option than even using a very good quality full frame 85mm lens. Let's look now at distortion and vignetting. The lens doesn't really project any discernible distortion. There's some darkness in the corners at f1.8 as you'd expect, but it's all cleared up at f2.8. A really good performance here. The lens can focus as closely as 65cm, which is nice and close, another advantage over other 85mm lenses which normally only focus down to about 85cm. At f1.8, close up image quality is quite sharp, although contrast takes a bit of a hit. Stop down to f2.8 for good contrast again, and f4 for a touch more sharpness. 
Let's see how this lens works against bright light. There's a hiccup here, as there's a lot of flaring and loss of contrast when bright lights are in the picture, and in certain places, the lens seems to be beaming down RGB coloured rainbows into the camera. Fascinating, and somewhat pretty, but it is quite an optical flaw. Use the lens hood whenever you can. Finally, bokeh, an important question for what is essentially a portrait lens. I'm pleased to say that this lens offers really lovely, smooth looking out of focus backgrounds. Not perfect, but very nice. It's only with very complex backgrounds like foliage, or in this case lavender, that we see any problems. Overall, as I've mentioned, the Samyang 85mm f1.8 UMC CS is a little bit of a niche product, perhaps by virtue of being a telephoto manual focus lens of course, and by virtue of it being only for APS-C mirrorless cameras. But it's not my job to comment on a lens's marketability, just its quality, which the Samyang 85mm f1.8 UMC CS has in buckets. It is simply a stellar optic, incredibly sharp, with good contrast, little vignetting or distortion, and smooth bokeh all the main things that really count in my book. If you own an APS-C mirrorless camera, and you want 85mm, and you don't mind manual focus, this is absolutely the lens for you, and it comes highly recommended.